Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Very good. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can. I'm just trying to fix my audio here. If you can give me a moment. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Is that good now? Uh, yeah. Am I audible? Clear enough? Yeah, you are audible. So, welcome today, uh, Shilpa. I'll just introduce you to our uh, viewers. So, today we have Shilpa Kabra with us. She's from architectural firm called the Design Box from Mumbai. And uh, interestingly, she's a uh, she's done advanced architecture from the Oxford, probably the university that we're talking about. And uh, she's also uh, worked with Talati and Pantaki in Mumbai. And because of her penchant for details in design she is kind of chosen to do interior designing and she believes in uh, very meticulous design and functional optimization of functions etc etc whatever i say probably would be lesser uh, for such a talented and educated architect like her i would uh, welcome you today for our today's session uh, i would like you to say a few words about yourself and your firm so um we established uh, the design box in 2012 uh my organization is actually an an all women girl organization so the only person who's a male is my partner rajat mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so i established this about 10 years back and about 6 years back i got pregnant and i had to start saying no to work and everything was well established so i had to force him to quit his job and he was doing well uh, he was doing well architecturally but i forced him to quit his job and i said you know it's it's time that you you have another boss for you so he is the only guy in our office and we are all in our female centric staff so lucky him i believe so uh, i will start with today's session So we're just choosing the right uh, facade and fenestration products. So Shilpa, I start with yes. the first question. So I mean, you know, uh, obviously, I mean, this is a very common question to everyone. We kind of uh, bring into our IGTV session. So how do you go about actually planning the facade and fenestration in your projects? What are the key factors that probably make you design the building around it, or accommodate these products in the building or the interiors that you are doing? so what's your approach towards uh, facade i mean the fenestration products um see uh, regarding the fenestration uh, it is same as you know how would you you would uh, design dress up a person so um if it is uh, say a, a person uh, he's going for a meeting he needs to he cannot just wear pjs and go for a meeting that impression that's not the right impression so same goes with the building somehow the building should speak uh, about its function uh, without being too loud or imposing and uh, when we plan we design uh, we don't design, make the plan and then think of there, there are a lot of times we are design as designers we first prepare the plan in two dimension and then start thinking how would it look in three dimension in uh, our approach to design is always we design the building in 3d so when we are planning we are actually thinking in three dimension while planning and that makes a lot of difference because then it is in sync it is not uh, it does not look same as though theek hai plan ban gaya now we'll think of what we're going to do with the elevation so that is what you know our approach is all our designs have been thought of in three dimension from the planning stage itself Okay, and how do you fit in the facades and the fenestration? I mean, what do you look at in terms of, you know, where so to put them? Be, it has to be an inside-outside uh, experience. So uh, the building should kind of, you know, uh, it should belong to the built environment. 
and when i say it belong it doesn't mean that it needs to match to what is around or be drastically different but it should have its identity while being a part of the surrounding that makes a lot of difference correct so okay uh, point very well taken it was a very very precise answer and i'll kind of brief it for everyone so basically i mean shilpa believes that at the end of the day you are you know okay let's take windows and fena- fenestration also as something which goes into the designing of a, just like it goes into a designing of a person so these elements are also used to kind of dress up a a, a building let's say and also what, uh, another point i noted was that uh, the fenestration gives an inside outside uh, perspective to the place that you are designing and obviously to make the building belong to the built environment so this becomes a very important element uh, in designing uh, of a building probably so if this is what you meant so i have kind of briefed it for everyone thank you right so second uh, what are the factors that you consider while choosing a fenestration product so we are going specific to the product now what kind of a product types of glass materials etc so so how do you go about that we are fortunately you know living in the time where uh, technology is at our advantage and we've got like a plethora of materials and design and with you know uh, invention that we can actually bring together uh, in the design to build a facade and give uh, you know true to its true element so um, you know it's not just uh, how do i say it? we are kind of creating showcasing the personality of the building through the facade so it's very important that we uh, implement the right technology and uh, you know in the right way follow the right timelines um so uh it has to be you know uh, we talk about having attractive visuals or uh something that is imperative to energy efficiency and uh, we th- think about uh, the aesthetics the the climate and uh, the user correct so i i like the uh, you know your idea of kind of personifying the elements that go into designing a building so in a way just like the first question you said that you it's like dressing up a building in the second question you personified probably an element of a fenestration into something which goes into you know maximizing the personality of whatever is being designed so so uh, yeah so i i understand from an architect and a creative person's perspective those things actually become very important and yes at the same time as you rightly said that since these days we have a lot of access to technology uh, it makes it easier for everyone to you know take care of the functionality aspect while the architect is you know uh, focused towards the the key the key intent of uh, dressing up a building or a person for that matter so okay But so let's go focus on the function because there are times that we are so blinded by dressing up that somehow correct. the function is also lost so that balance has to be maintained correct yes very rightly said so we have a good analogy here now a building versus a person both are being dressed up so let's see uh, what the next question brings in so the next pre- uh, question is to actually do with the features i mean uh, earlier we were talking about what's the approach then what kind of materials and then now what are the features in that in fenestration products that you look at uh, while designing your projects or let's say you know yeah so uh, context is very important so i think uh, it has to you know the appeal needs to be right when it comes to the built surroundings uh maintenance very important because uh, you know we there have been fenestration products that have been used in projects but once uh, it's uh, you know a, a person starts uh, utilizing the space we've seen we've experienced the experience challenges where once the product is installed but uh, uh, over the period of time due to wear and tear and user using it uh, there are issues which can't be fixed at time so again if we talk about a window it has to be changed the completely the window has to be changed if yeah. uh, so 
maintenance is very important and i'm saying that out of experience that uh, whenever we pick a product we make sure that it's just easy to maintain and if there are issues do they can be fixed um, again if the product should be timeless so i would, uh, if we install a product we should make sure that you know it it does it's not um, it doesn't look it's not redundant in nice and next 10 years or next 5 years or 15 years uh, whatever we design need to you know sustain the timeline uh, when we talk no, about no, timeless no. i i take your point on that the basically what you are stressing upon is serviceability of the product probably it also happens that these days people end up buying products from you know europe or other places and then it comes to their serviceability it becomes a very big problem and then india such a large being such a large country you need a local person or a person within a few kilometers to be able to be you know he should be accessible because you know what it's a mechanical product at the end of the day and uh, it's easy to sell but very difficult to service why because uh, the technology is changing very fast and with the change in technology and the product availability even the dealers are shifting uh, loyalties from one brand to the other and uh, yes. and and you know sometimes we do understand that some customers end up having a very uh, i would say sour experience after having spent a lot of uh, money on the product so so i am with you yeah. on that that uh, point well taken that serviceability which helps in the easy maintenance of the product is very important in terms of fenestration so that's i mean uh, till now we've always got answers which are more related to the product is its aesthetics and we add on the functionality aspect so we've first time we have someone who's more concerned about the serviceability which is a good thing to hear why because going forward i think products and product suppliers will always kind of add up but yes people who are ready to i would say carry the journey with the customer till the last mile will be very few why because you know still we are a country wherein we want to make some money and move on but yeah. i think when you talk about a building and a, someone's residence it's actually a journey which you have to live with him till the time he is living in the house because right. these are mechanical okay. products they are going to be used. it's like a car for that matter you cannot get rid of a car you know servicing until unless you sold the car so yeah. uh, that's why maruti is very famous in india because it has a very good serviceability access so i think this is a very good point which she, uh, which elpa has made that serviceability is something that people need to keep in mind it may not be only windows but any building material product for that matter absolutely so okay uh, well said so let's move on to the next question uh, okay here it's very typical i you, only a creative person can answer this what role does the context play in choosing these systems although we've touched it in the previous questions as well but uh, i think here uh, we need some specific details of how we go about it um so uh, context is i think one of the most important uh, aspects while designing a facade or the exterior now for example uh, we've traveled to wapi a lot silvasa and wapi and the moment you cross silvasa and you're about to enter wapi you know you are entering wapi because of that smell that sewage mm. plant smell and um, so and because it's you know there's a lot of industrial setup on that part of that side of the state uh, there's a lot of the industry so if it's an industrial area we would want to you know design uh, uh, the fenestration or the facade that can also take care of you know the noise and uh, we, even the ventilation aspect that can be so there are very really small small things that you can think of like uh, the the physical and the non physical element the land the greenery the contour uh, all of that makes a lot of difference and obviously when we talk about context we cannot uh, ignore the weather also correct okay. so weather is also very important while planning and especially places where there are extreme weather we would want to think of fenestrations that can you know uh, take care of the temperature difference to it at least by you know 3 degrees or so correct so basically what we are looking at is the context primarily would kind of signify the location of the building the climate yes. 
the natural habitat around it or let's say the built up habitat around it and obviously these things which are more natural in nature will have to be boiled down to be uh, you know treated by way of various elements of architecture and fenestration is one of them probably correct so uh, let's move on to our next question now so how do you think <coughs> the fenestration industry can contribute towards uh, you know facilitating the right kind of product a fenestration product i mean you must have come across a lot of fenestration products uh one aspect you've already touched with is serviceability but when it comes to the product and its feature and its features so what do you think uh, the fenestration industry can do about that something um, that is sorry. Open, uh something that is easy to operate okay we talk about maintenance but again it is for the user so it needs to be user friendly Uh, mm-hmm. for all age groups and uh, in terms of all kind of setup so uh, so you know i can give you an example now in today's day and age we, we today is uh, ganpati visarjan mm. uh, and in mumbai and especially in maharashtra it is a big deal um i have um i have a dog at home and i had those regular windows uh, regular aluminum windows in my house but because of these uh, festivities the noise pollution is so much they are bursting fire crackers it used to stress him out out and we can see that and then my daughter was very young and we realized that we need to do something about it so we had to install uh, soundproof windows in all our in, in we had to change all the windows of our house so you know when it comes to technology now population is increasing there is noise everywhere so say we i have a daughter she can operate the window she wants to open the window it should be easy for her uh, when it comes to noise she can close the window if she is not okay with the noise or even for the dog in my house so this is just a personal example i am giving and also in technology um we will if we have to buy a cell phone we are not going to buy a cell phone which is probably 4 years uh, a 4 year old yeah. model because yeah. it will not be able to you know sustain the technology and right. uh, the 5g system that we have in place so it is very important that we move with along with time and incorporate technology in our products and in our design I think uh, you answered it in your first line itself by saying that the product should be user friendly. Now, whatever needs to be done in terms of uh, probably you know either enhancing the noise insulation, heat insulation, uh, function easy e- ease of operation, etc. I think it comes into user friendly nature. And only if someone yeah. is looking user friendly and these aspects are covered, he would be able to think further uh, or let's say more advanced uh, in terms of making the window more user friendly probably. so i think we got the answer in the first line itself so okay now let's let's come to the last question of the day now this is a very important question for me as well why because you know lately we realize that uh, although there are a lot of vendors uh, customers or let's say prospective customers and uh, people who you building the houses they are more or less aware also of what fenestration products are uh, but you know what they do not understand the functionality in detail or for that matter the technical aspects so what can the industry i mean here we are talking about not only we as vendors or you as architects but let's say architects vendors coming together to make the customer more aware of what product he should be using i mean uh, it should not really be that uh, because someone recommended because something is cheap because my friend put it so you know those things become more or let's say these look nice frankly speaking in india i mean again uh, very western influenced uh, population we have because it's imported it is good it has an it, it has a foreign brand name to it it is very good so how, how do we kind of uh, take care of that in terms of people making people more aware of actually understanding the product better and making the right selection whether indian imported is a separate thing but uh, the notional value that gets attached in the customer's mind just because a foreign name is there or it's an imported product or let's say it looks nice probably and it may not be functionally you know user friendly let's say so what do you think as an industry uh, what are the efforts that can be taken to take care of this uh, problem in the industry i think one of the problems is uh, 10 people giving you suggestions so 
it's very important that the client is not influenced by those suggestions so uh, in my case i would always ask the client as i would always ask him ki wo 10 ghar 10 10 log yahan rehne wale hai ki aap rehne wale you need to make the decision and yes i understand sometimes costing is a very important factor so the first is if it is uh, you know the product is uh, an indian or uh, a non indian brand that does make a difference because if the you know the address or the sticker made in italy or you know some european country is attached somehow the client is very uh, is tilted towards buying the product but like i said we faced this uh, experience in the past where maintenance is always an issue so okay. it's very important to make the client aware that whatever you product take uh, the factors that we considered uh, the maintenance the user friendliness all of that needs to be also you know uh, thought of before making a final decision and compare you have to compare uh, an apple with an apple you cannot compare an apple with an orange so mm-hmm. we as you know people belonging to the industry have to just make sure to, to have the right approach in explaining the client why they need to make an informed decision without getting influenced mm-hmm. that's very important. yeah so probably you were saying that since it's going to be a very localized uh, i would say concept why because people uh, who are building their houses or for that matter offices i understand they may be ending up doing it maybe once at best twice in their lifetime i mean you don't end up building a house every second year or let's say 10th year so because it is that's why i say it's a localized phenomena i mean by the time people kind of build their own house they're so experienced in building houses but frankly they are never going to get an opportunity to build another one most of them i mean yes you yeah. know there are concept of second houses so uh, so i would say that uh, yes i mean uh, when someone is building house for the first time i think that is where more time should be spent on educating oneself before even starting the exercise in terms of you know uh, i would say this is something which i would really love uh, from architects and also that when people come to them for kind of taking suggestions for building houses a small i would say a handbook be given to them wherein what are the basic elements that go into a house and they read basics about it and come back and maybe from that they can take a lead of going further into uh, you know studying uh, on internet etc so it's like someone just like it happens in classrooms a student who's already kind of pre read a chapter is obviously more receptive in the class when the teacher is teaching and uh, that's how they excel for that matter so if something like that i mean that's my suggestion i may be totally wrong because uh, at the end of the day i'm not an architect so my stage comes very late why because when someone recommends me and then i come into the picture and the first thing i probably do is uh, you know kind of give them a download on why do they want really windows i mean why do we want them why don't have we have walls so you know that's more of uh, my way is more critical questioning going reverse psychology so this is no hame light to chahiye acha okay then he'll say okay अब एयर भी चाहिए वेरी गुड सो प्रोबेबली एन इज आंसर दो फाइव सिक्स थिंग्स देन आई गोइंग टू द डिटेल्स बिकॉज इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ टू नो वेदर द अदर पर्सन एक्चुअली नोज वाई ही वॉन्ट्स विंडोज इफ ही जस्ट वॉन्ट्स बिकॉज बिकॉज इज इज बहुत सुंदर लगती है देन यू नो ही इज ऑन द रॉन्ग काइंड ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म ऑल टूगेदर सो वॉट आई वुड वॉन्ट इज दैट प्रोबेबली इफ यू कैन गिव दिस एडवाइस टू द आर्किटेक्ट एज वेल दैट दे शुड बी स्मॉल हैंड बुक विच इज गिवन टू दैम एंड दे रीड इट कम बैक इन अबाउट अ वीक्स टाइम so in a way probably they come more informed and they are more likely to kind of or be more receptive towards the architect suggestions as well and we do the same when we you know customers come to us as well so uh, i don't know what do you think about it if you would like to add on something to it or probably kind of criticize it i am open to that no i i just think that uh, you know this is in fact a brilliant idea and uh, if we can you know in a very i, I like the approach of uh, re- working you know in the reverse way in the reverse psychology yeah. that that actually helps a lot but uh, these days i think compa- compared to you know pehle ke time clients are well informed and uh, yes. somehow they you know if they do trust the architects so yes, the architects yes. say for example you're doing a plan and the windows are who european windows given by right. the builder and we've seen we've seen clients experience you know the issues and once the flooring is done it's just very difficult to change the windows the full height yeah. windows we've told the clients that they'll work fine they're going to work fine for about a year you will have to change them so mm. don't wait for a year change them now 
while you're because there are issues the water gets into the track and then there's leakage and all that yeah okay so i think we come we come to the end of the session today so any i mean it was a pleasure chatting with you uh, shilpa and probably when we come down to bombay we'll definitely visit you and uh, you most welcome to come down to chandigarh any last words on the topic the day i'm just happy that uh, you know you you guys have had this uh, informative session and we could have a very candid conversation about it because uh, somehow it's nobody really focuses much on fenestration or at least things that doesn't really weigh on the importance of it yeah aesthetically and functionally and that that's very important actually for us it would be more important that you know when people come to kind of think of fenestration even a few you know sessions that we do with architects if they go across that so basically this is more like a content for the prospective customer as well that like, uh, you know you sometimes when you kind of hire an architect so you are limited to the knowledge that that architect is giving you but at the same yeah. time when you want to do more study why not have a perspective of different architects that probably we've spoken to about windows so i think people these days are very passionate about building houses i mean it's like end of the world for them so so they are so attached to it so i mean these sessions basically become our database to tell customer that you should go and see what various architects feel about the product how they should be installed we are not talking about any materials any brand names it's just that you know open information why fenestration is required and how it should be and whether it aligns with your thought that this is where you want it if it is the same then you should go ahead and probably you know contact us for that matter so that is all about it so thank you thank you very much shilpa it was a pleasure having you with us today and uh, let's hope uh, we meet sometime in future sometime in future Most definitely we will bye bye okay bye